Hi everyone, Sam Jackson here. So recently I passed 100k training challenge with FTMO using robots I created using EA Studio. And today I'm going to discuss that and uh, I'll move over to the computer now. So here is my FTMO homepage. Uh, so you can see here the FTMO challenge has been passed and it was a 100k challenge. I've started the verification. I'll move on to that in a second, but we'll go and have a look at the metrics. So the FTMO like portal, I would say is definitely one of my favorites of the prop firms. It gives a very nice kind of breakdown. It gives this nice graph and um, it provides a consistency score, provides your, your metrics here and here and a list of all your trades. And yeah, it's definitely, it's well set out. And so, yeah, you can see that uh, this account started trading 12th of March and it finally passed the challenge 6th of August. So it took about five months to pass and it's placed 100 trades exactly and so yeah it's been a pretty smooth kind of equity curve a month of stagnation possibly there a little drawdown but yeah generally it's it's been a pretty smooth equity curve we can see that counts the trading days as you've got four different criteria here to pass so you've got to trade at least four trading days so that a day is just when you open a trade so you know i've made a hundred trades but obviously some on the same day um but yeah past that criteria you're allowed a five percent daily equity drop so I've been pretty comfortable there only using about a third of that and um, this metric I've noticed is um, I don't believe it's working properly I trust that one I don't feel that's actually right but uh, I'm sure it would register it if I did if the account did lose uh, 10,000 but I you know there has definitely been a drop bigger than that um, and it's certainly recording it correct for the daily so don't trust the statistic but uh, but anyway it says it's, it's small um, and I can certainly see the most it would be is maybe be there it's the balance is 8,300 probably drop into 6,000 so maybe a couple of grand kind of drop um, is the maximum loss and yeah and it hit the profit target um, as you can see 10% just over 10k um, in terms of stats we've got a pretty good win rate 63% profit factor over 2 it's traded in this time 95 lots roughly they're good stats the equity curve's good it's been a good portfolio so um, the portfolio I've been trading, I created with EA Studio. And I'll show that here. So basically, I've traded a portfolio of five expert advisors. And there were six, but in that time, so in that five months, I've monitored the account. I've, you know, the intention is always to keep an eye on the robots. And if they underperform, I'm going to remove them and put on something else. And this one's required very little changes. So there were six. Now there's five currently running on there. So I've got AUD, USD. They're all in the H1 time frame. CAD JPY, Euro JPY, Euro USD, and USD JPY. Um, we can pull one in. So yeah, they were created using EA Studio. Um, so you can see this one here. It's a Bollinger Band strategy. Um, take profits about a third of the stop loss. Um, if we look at the stats, we can see complete back test. What have we got? We've got a decent profit factor. Good R squared. Pretty high win loss. High return of a drawdown. Down. Um, yeah, this one's been a good strategy. And so, yeah, how did I create these? Well, I created these using the reactor. I've made slight tweaks to them, but generally I've just used the EA Studio reactor and put it through certain robustness tests. Um, for anyone unfamiliar with EA Studio, that's not the purpose of this video, but uh, I'll certainly be making more to um, walk through the use of EA Studio and how I use it, uh, use it in many ways to create robust trading strategies uh, so I've got um, FX blue here connected again we can see that past the challenge um, for a further breakdown you can kind of see that the most of the trades were between these three so euro USD USD JPY and Aussie dollar um, with only a small 10% of the trades actually coming from these two but that's fine they've still performed well um, well we can see that all done maybe they haven't the portfolio itself, of course, has performed well. Um, in terms of the individual experts, we've got four of them that have been profitable, uh, with the certainly the lion's share coming from the USD JPY one. And uh, the Euro JPY has not made many trades and has made a loss, but um, I've left it on there because it's in terms of the equity curve, there's nothing really untypical. I mean, all expert advisors suffer drawdowns. Um, it's not 
an uncharacteristic performance so I've just left it running for the time being if I do decide that uh, I'm not happy with it I'll remove it and uh, replace it five would be the minimum kind of number of strategies that I would trade as a portfolio generally I tend to prefer 10 to 20 but five some of my portfolios are down to five especially as I have you know maybe start with 10 and over time start to remove some that aren't performing as well as I would like and um, that's just a kind of summary of how this was passed and so yeah going forward what then happens is once you've passed the challenge FTMO are going to provide a verification account which they have done if I have a look at that they've provided this verification account and um, which I only put on a couple of days ago and um, so it won't have traded much yet yeah, it's made five trades and um, so for the verification account I only need to hit half the profit target that I did for the challenge. Again, there's an unlimited time um, as there was with the challenge. Um, this has only been trading for like say a couple of days and so far it's uh, had a maximum daily loss of 1,200 which was yet yeah, had a pretty big loss there but overall it's had four winning trades one big loser um, but overall it's still in profit um, with a good profit factor and high win rate and yeah so I'll be doing the exact same for the verification I could, in terms of my risk, which, you know, I had it until I got halfway, my risk was quite low. And then I increased it by 50% when I was within a reasonable kind of amount of profit, you know, because obviously the further I get in profit, the further I am from this fixed kind of maximum loss. So I certainly, I did increase my risk a little bit, 50% around the halfway mark. And I can see here that my maximum daily loss, which is the main risk, it's not so much the maximum loss it's the maximum daily loss that can kind of uh, that tends to fail most of them and so you know because that's a third really I could play it a little bit more risky and I would say maybe even double my risk if I was being impatient that's taken five months to get to that target I'm okay with that I can't control what the markets are going to do um, hopefully this takes a few months to hit half the target but you know it could take longer it could take less um, that's kind of out with my control I'll just keep following the trading rules and uh, expect that over time it will hit its target and if I need to remove any expert advisors um, or add any new ones so I'll, I'll do that depending on the performance and let time just do its thing so if anyone wants to download the portfolio of expert advisors that I used for this challenge um, they can do so by clicking the link in the description I will be making future videos on um, how I you know a further breakdown and how to use AA studio to create expert advisors and perform robustness tests and um, use it effectively to create profitable strategies so if you're interested in that um, click the, the video link that pops up and um, yeah, if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep making more content. Okay, thank you.